my girl travelers, welcome back. Today I am gonna share with you some of the top foodie experiences that you should have if you are in Osaka. Come along. Right now I'm walking along Tombori River Walk and it's on the opposite side of that main foodie street of Donburi. At night, this place has a completely different feeling. Japan has always been known for its fine cuisine. However, it's not really known for its street food. Not in the league of Bangkok or Calcutta or, or even Taipei. But here in Dotomori, you'll find a lot of street food. This is the place to be. It's hard to walk down the street without wanting to snack on something every 10 feet. Osaka has a reputation for being the kitchen of Japan. So here we are in Dotomori, where I feel like maybe we're in the heart and soul of Osaka. This is one street where it's just electric. Hey, I know this guy. If you remember my Skiji Market video, this guy is like a chain restaurant, sushi joint. Uh, the Billiken is supposed to be some kind of favorite uh, character in this area, which is kind of like a divinity or a, a character of luck. Takoyaki! Taro character is and apparently he's a doll. A lot of the sweets and the candies here, they look like little plastic replicas of actual food. You can even order takoyaki from the vending machine. Now here you'll find the streets just lined with these takoyaki and okonomiyaki stands all competing against each other. You find a lot of street food here. Tell the popular places because the line there's always a queue. It seems like this place is selling like different types of takoyaki as well as okonomiyaki. But some of that takoyaki like like huge balls. That is cooking really, really quickly. Okay, oh, that's even cheaper. 
He's just doing it so fast. Hoggy. How old are you? So this is gonna be all about the sauce. The inside is so soft, it's almost, impart like, almost partially cooked, but not quite. The outside is kind of a little crustier. The soy sauce that goes in there, I like it. The mayo helps. I'm gonna go with the onions to kind of like clean out my palate a little. Green onions round out the flavor a lot. So I feel like these things, like so far with the first one and the second one, they're kind of like almost coating the takoya. I feel like this is going to be super salty with the potato flavor. Bonito flakes are okay, but I feel like I still like the other two first. I'm not a big fan of sweet and sour. The one thing that I had going for it was when I hit on those um, chili flakes. Like I'd love to see like a more chili version. I felt like the green onions weren't standard, whereas you taste the bonito in the okonomiyaki and the mayo and the soy sauce is pretty standard. Basically, the, the takoyaki is the same for all of them. You taste a lot of batter with a little bit of the squid. Peach flavor adds a different coating to it. But it's also so hot because when I put it in my mouth, I can't even talk at that point. It's like spewing, you know, hot warm goo in my mouth. I like it. So for 600 yen, you really can't go wrong because you got a sample platter of four different flavors. known for its okonomiyaki or it originating in Osaka. Japanese pizza, but it definitely feels like a salad because you can taste like the cabbage crunching, but the konomiyaki sauce is sweet. Mm. There's some seafood in here. So far, I've stumbled upon squid and scallop. Now, remember when you come to Osaka, you have to try the konomiyaki. Look at this, this is honey toast. Look at the thickness of that toast. These look whopping huge. It seems like in this neighborhood, because food is so abundant, the only way to get your customers in is to make your sign bigger and better than your neighbors. Walking down here, you see a lot of oversized plastic animals. Last time I was here, I waited in line and they ended up selling out just before I got there. Today, I'm a lot earlier, so I think my chances of getting some melon pond is gonna be pretty good. Matcha, regular, and vanilla. I tried this in a sakusa and I love the melon pond. They didn't have any matcha green tea. Hi, I have one matcha melon. Oh, okay, one vanilla. I wanted to try that one, but this, was, this cost 400 yen. I'm kind of still pretty excited. Mm. Mm. <laughs> really good. Oh my god, this is incredible. The outside has a hard crust. 
It's like a sugary hard crust. The vanilla soft syrup is very soft. It tastes very milky, the, the soft syrup does. This bread was badass in a sakusa, but paired with the soft serve, it's just lethal. If you haven't tried this, get on out here, buy yourself one of these for $4. Okay, right now we're outside of like this gyoza shop, and they have different types of gyoza from spicy to cheesy. I think I have to check this out. Okay, so we got the dotonburi. Gyoza is kind of like crisp, crunch when you bite into it. The ginger is kind of got a sweet tang to it, along with the witch star sauce. But I love how the Japanese mayo just like sort of coats it with like a milkiness. It's a weird medley that's going on in your mouth because all of these different combinations of flavors and textures are going in. I thought that there might be meat. I like cross my fingers and think it's like shrimp. But yeah, this one was meat. So I didn't quite finish the whole thing. But I will say in terms of flavors going on, Around the meat, yeah, I do like the fact that the ginger came in, like cleaned up the palate so that I wasn't tasting the meat as strongly. So now I'm very much thinking that I should have gone upstairs to get my jacket because then I would be exploring a lot more of the street tonight. But now I'm a little cold. I feel like going back in, but not before I get myself some mochi or some dango. This one I'm really excited to try. So it seems like she's grilling up the dango. So it's probably gonna get a roast flavor. So one stick is gonna be 200 yen. Three sticks is gonna be 500 yen. So I think I'm gonna go for the three sticks. Oh, and then comes the soy sauce with the sugar all over it. Oh, this will be nice and gooey, thank you. The Mitarashi Dango, I love this. I have dreams about it. This is just kind of like a a grilled dango, grilled mochi, as, as you can see her, her putting it together. And it's dipped in this nice, sugary soy sauce glaze. Mm. Did you see how soft that was when I bit into it? Mm. You can even see it right there. But the mochi is sweet. And when you bite into it, it's super soft. Not gooey or squishy, but just super soft. <laughs> it's like biting into a candy apple. It tastes kind of like roasty. Um, a little burnt. But... Mm. I'm sure it's so bad. It's so good. It's a cleaning list, like a chicken bone. It's a cool one. It's that good. I think I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and get some more. So far, almost everything that I've had in the Tomburi and Osaka have been just redefining, have been amazing. All I can say is get on out here. If you haven't experienced any of these yet, get on out here so you can redefine your, your taste buds. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this video. And above all, may the girl be with you.